Hello and welcome back to the Saints FM series. Now, obviously, we've played a little bit. Let's bloody catch you up. For our first game, we took a trip away to Old Trafford. Nothing of much note happened in the first half, but only seven minutes into the second, Adozi was fouled in the box with the ref giving a penalty, with Bustos slotting it home to give Saints a shock lead. And that was all the action as a defensively solid Southampton, yes, a defensively solid Southampton, managed to sneak out all three points. We then hosted league leaders Liverpool. We got off to a poor start as Mo Salah found the run of McAllister, who gave Liverpool the lead. But it didn't take long for us to strike back as Adozi found Mara in the box as he put it into the back of the net. And only minutes into the second half, Walker Peters found Alcaraz with a beautiful ball as Alcaraz played it across for Mara to tap in to give us the lead. And quite literally, only minutes later, Liverpool managed to pull back level with Salah tapping it in. Only 10 minutes later, we regained the lead as Adozi played it across goal with Alcaraz tapping in this time. But unfortunately, we couldn't hold on to the lead as Mo Salah played it across and again, some shocking defending from Southampton allowed Ben Doak to tap it in. And straight from kickoff, Mo Salah was played through to put Liverpool into the lead. And that was it as we lose a seven goal thriller to Liverpool. We then had another tough game as we hosted Manchester City. The game was incredibly tight, but we managed to get the breakthrough with Breuer running one-on-one -on -one to score with only 13 minutes remaining. But again, we couldn't hold on to the lead with Rafinha finding Alvarez who taps it in to make it 1-0. With only minutes remaining, a certain Argentinian decided he was going to have a hit from distance and what a hit it was as Bustos scored a screamer to give the Saints all three points. And another difficult game as we hosted Arteta's Arsenal. We nearly took the lead with Bustos nearly scoring another unbelievable goal but it comes off the post. But into the second half we did manage to take the lead as Sila played it across for Mara to finish at the near post. And again! We couldn't hold on to the lead as Saka found Martinelli at the back post after some poor defending to get Arsenal level. And that was another game where we concede late on and lose two points. We then took a trip away to fellow newly promoted side Luton Town. We took the lead within 10 minutes as Larios found Alcaraz who tapped it in. And things got even better as Luton were down to 10 men as he got sent off for this ridiculous tackle on more lanes. And into the second half we got our second as Fabio Carvalho played this beautiful ball to Alcaraz who finished it well. Adozi decided to completely finish off off the game with this beautiful effort hitting the back of the net as we have a very good result and performance. Next up we hosted Leicester City and it didn't take us long to take the lead as only 20 seconds in Harry Maguire, yes he is he is back at Leicester, plays it back to the keeper who has had a howler and gives it straight to Mara who slots it home to give us an early lead. We then got given a penalty but somehow their keeper saved it as it was heading into the top corner. But Bustos made up for the penalty miss with this beautiful free kick at the start of the second half. But remember we are Southampton and we like to make things difficult for ourselves by conceding this absolutely stupid goal. And don't you fear, we managed to bottle it as Jaden Anthony scored after the shot was deflected to make it 2 all as we drop more points in the final 10 minutes of the game. We then took a trip to Leeds United and just before the end of the first half we striked as Mara scores at the front post but he actually handballed it. We then decided to give away a penalty as Gomez slotted home to give Leeds the lead and that's how it ended as we lose 1-0. We also did get our March youth intake with a few good young players but one in particular with William Christian Christensen? Christ Christensen? Something like that. The Englishman having very high potential and some decent stats with 16 defending at 15 years old. After the youth intake we hosted high-flying Newcastle we took the lead just after the 30 minute mark with down scoring this absolute beauty but again we failed to see out the half as Newcastle carved us open to score with only seconds left of the half only seven minutes into the second half Newcastle took the lead after the effort deflected off Harwood Bellas into the back of the net Fulcrog then managed to get us level but it was ruled for offside as we bottled yet another lead to lose 2-1 to Newcastle now that you're all caught up we've got eight games left to play in the Premier League season Four points off 11th, five points off 10th. It's going to be a struggle to push into the top half, but in terms of relegation, we're cruising. Now, this is the team to play against Aston Villa. Uh, Larios has come in because Doig is injured. Uh, and as you can see, we don't have much players on the bench. That's because we have four injuries. Even Broy has basically got no fitness, so he's probably not going to really play a part. Uh, I don't know what's exactly happened, but we're having a little bit of an injury crisis. But we're traveling away to Villa. Let's bloody get this kicking and start it off. Are you fucking... <laughs> ah, you're taking the piss. You're taking the piss out of me. What? We have no options here. So we're going to bring on Breuer and he's going to go left wing. He's not 100% fit, but fuck. We're just screwed at this point. Nice, Mara. Well won. Breuer. Mara! 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 Super Seco strikes! Come on, baby! Breuer gets the assist. 
That is our first shot of the game, and it's the second shot of the entire game. It has been an exhilarating first half. Don't tell me if we can set if we can see it off kickoff. I am chucking myself off the roof. Head first. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, Gav. Bro, 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 bro. We have like an actual difficulty of just defending when we score. Alright, it's half time. Saints of the a one shot, <laughs> Villa with the three. It's been a great, exhilarating game. But we are leading at the break, and let's hope we can keep this up. Chance. T. Lemons, it's in. It was bound to happen. I mean, we're just so... Like, I can't even make changes, man. We're going to have to, but, like, I just don't have any options on the bench. Oh, we're going to get cooked here. We're going to get cooked. Whoa, what a block. Who was that? Who was that? Was that Howard? You're a hero. No, don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Off the crossbar. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it's saved from Brazil. Fucking hell. Villa fucking stole uh, the win last time we played them at home. In the last seconds. And they fucking done it again! Bro, this team cannot defend last embers of halves. I could take you through so many fucking games where we can see in the last 10 minutes, man. Oh my god. We don't deserve, like, we don't deserve a point. We don't deserve a win from our performance. But fucking hell, when it's so close to just getting us something, we can't stick with it. But I'm just pissed that we keep conceding late shit goals, man. It is so frustrating. And Adozi's out for basically the rest of the fucking season. Oh my god, another injury just to fucking derail us at the end. All right, for our next game, we host Brighton in the Premier League. It's the same team as last time. We said Breuer starting, obviously, a dose injury. We have a couple of players back from injury, Fabio Carvalho and Sila, but they're not fit to start. Let's just get into it and hope that we can get a result. And Shay Charles is now injured. Bro, we can't catch a fucking break at the minute. Oh, just for the half. I swear to God, not again, bro. Thank you. I'm sick of conceding just before the full time, just for the half time. I'm sick of it. But it's half time nil, it's been a shit performance. Sila, Sila still. So oh, fucking just keep it alive, man. Nice ball, Alcaraz. Can you find Mara in the middle, Alcaraz? Bustos. Bustos still. Bustos still. Oh, for f come on, man. It's a good opportunity. Corner ball for Brighton. Oh my god, oh, f I'm sick of this. Oh my god. Great save from Bazudu, and then we're fucking conceded. Nice ball, full Krog. Keep playing, what well I'm Walker Peters. Keep fighting, but now Karez! What if it. No, is he offside? I swear to god, if he's offside. This game is just taking the piss. He didn't look offside to me, and he isn't! Come on! Alcaraz, what a fucking finish by brother, my brethren. Downs, how do you not win that header? Downs, nah, Downs. Balakot just not like his man, we can see. I am over this. I'm seriously over this fucking game. I played two fucking games and I'm done. This is fucking stupid. Oh my god, man. We genuinely cannot defend as soon as we score. We can't. Come on, come on, Larios. Walker Peters. Bazunu's in there. Kyle Walker Peters. Stevens! How is it not? Oh, we just can't. We just can't get anything, eh? We just can't get anything. Oh, fuck off, Downs, you dumbass. We're just getting nothing at night. Nothing is going our way. We're getting injuries left, right, and center. We get a goal. We concede instantly. We concede last-minute goals. It's just not fucking happening, eh? All right, another day, another game as we travel away to Crystal Palace with all our injuries are nearly back. Uh, Adoze is going to be out for a couple more games, but there's a lot of sort of not fully fit, not fully sharp, but they have to play regardless. Let's get into it and fucking win. I'm sick of losing. More lanes of the center mid, center mid next season. I'm sick of this guy. What a save, Bazunu. What a save. More lanes, I swear to God. Every game I watch him play, he is always giving the ball away in the opposition, and that's where the highlight triggers. It is ridiculous. Nice ball, Carvalho. Fabio Carvalho. Why? Like, why doesn't he just go down the line? He's got space and just cross it in. Why does he have to cut it and shoot from distance? That is just annoying. And we draw. Like, they didn't even have a shot on target. We didn't have one highlight. A lot of possession. We're just, yeah. <laughs> We're just wobbling to the end of the season. All right, we go again. We host West Ham. West Ham are actually in the top four. If you would believe it, they're actually challenging for Champions League, which is incredibly impressive. We are the other hand just at 13th. 
Same team, but let's just get into it. We're on a bad run. I'm just ready to end the season at this point. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. This can't be arsed. 50 seconds in, Warprow scores because they give the ball away. Oh my god. Nah, nah, nah. What, what, what can I do? What can I do about that? Two goals today where they've just given them the ball. That is fucking shocking from Harwood. Like, what is this? How, like, what, what, it's downs open, is he? Oh, I, I don't think he is, fella. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, whatever, man. This is just fucking, you know, there, there, there's a lot of times where, like, you'll make mistakes, and you'll be like, oh, fuck, fuck, shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have done this, or whatever, or your setup's wrong. This is just purely defense is just being spastics. Like, everyone's just being a spastic. I can't do anything about being 2-0 down in 10 minutes where your fucking two players are giving them the ball. I just can't do anything about that. Yeah, this is awesome, guys. And then Fabio Carvalho gets the ball, stands still. Oh, yeah. Nah, yeah. 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 Nah, yeah. Yeah, this is fucking excellent. This is, this is fucking excellent. This is absolutely fucking stupid. Alright, corner. Ward Prowse. Why is there no one there? What? The, I bet I'm like watching the under 12s play against the seniors. How is there a guy completely unmarked at the edge? We got one back. Alcaraz scored. Walker Peters gets the assist. I doubt we're going to pull this back, boys. The entire team has had an absolute fucking shocker. Charles, what a ball. But Anetsi's in. Doesn't score. Yeah, fucking awesome. See, it would be exciting if when Anetsi scored his chance, then we got a penalty. You're like, holy shit, maybe a comeback's possible. When Anetsi scores. I mean, we're back in the game, technically. 4-2. That's full time. 4-2 loss. I mean, <laughs> we created more. Uh, it's just that first, what, 17 minutes is the most brain-dead defending possible. It's, it's really that simple. Like, it's nothing to do with the tactics or anything. It's simply the team just decide to be shit for 15 minutes. All right, next match away to Brentford. They're currently in relegation. I mean, if we were to lose this game, it does open the possibility of relegation. But in reality, not really. We've just been shit. I mean, that's about it, really. We've got a few changes. Bernadette and Adozzi are coming in. Silas coming in, but... I'm just, I'm, I'm checked out. I'm ready for next year. Well, this is trouble. Ivan Tony's still at Brentford. And he scored. Oh, man. It's just, we can't do anything. Nothing is going our way. It's just a fucking absolute shithole. Walker Peters. Off he goes. Walker Peters. Deep cross. Key, def oh, it's a pin. It's a pin. Hey, we'll take that. We'll take that. Bro, I just don't, uh, like, he's not even tried. <laughs> he's not even tried to score. It's a conspiracy theory, mate. They're playing shit to get me to act. Like, I don't understand why we're so bad at the moment. Are you taking the piss? Nah, this is actually just trolling at this point. Walker Peters gets the ball, just hoofs it out. Oh, man, this is just ridiculous, bro. Well, a fucking awful first half has come to an end, and this is just a disgrace. Downs into Shea Chart. Like, get a fucking grip, bro. Why are you shooting from 30 yards first time? This is what I mean. It is just fucking stupid all across the pitch, man. Oh, my God, bro. And there we go. We lose another game. It's just, it's disgraceful. It is disgraceful. Oh, another game. Home against Wolves. The front four has really been changed. Breuer's getting a game. This is just unbelievable at the moment. Oh, my God. It's just such shit defending. I don't understand how it is so easy for us to concede, but a fucking God-given miracle if we score. Arios with the ball in. Finally, we score from a set piece. Belakotjep scores. We scored probably like 30 goals last year from set pieces. And this season probably scored like one. That's probably the one we scored right then. Half time. Oh, it's not half time. It was about to tick to half time. I mean, maybe there's a chance here. Bustos is an open goal and doesn't even score. Oh my god. Yeah, half time. One all. We've been dominant, but again, we're not winning. Bustos, 40 seconds into the second half with the set piece. Harwood! 
Oh, we're finally scoring set pieces now, are we? Come on. We take the lead. A dozy, a dozy. Damara! He's offside. He's not offside. It's 3 1. And we can see it from kickoff. Oh, my fucking God, bro. God, bro. Mara, yes. Mara, yes. Please. Oh, for fuck's sake. That was the game done. And we hold on to turn it around to win. Like, why aren't these sort of attacking performances often? Like, we destroyed them in the first half. We got a little bit lucky in the second, but we really only created those two, uh, well, I guess, three opportunities in that second half. Scored two. The first half, we were so dominant, though. We should have been cruising by then. So with that result, we are confirmed to stay in the Premier League. Whoop, whoop. Mara gets a goal, finally. Injured. Now he can't get top scorer. He was only two goals off the top scorer. Now he's out for the rest of the season. Our luck is so stupid at this point. Now Stevens is injured. Yeah, brilliant, mate. Just keep adding them on. Let's get some more in. All right, so this is our second to last game as we travel away to Bournemouth. We've secured our survival in the Premier League as we are eight points clear. They've obviously played an extra game as well. Um, so we're fine with that. In terms of where we could finish, we could finish potentially 11th. 10th had a big stretch, but if we win our last two games, end the season a high would be very nice. Going to a dozy, a dozy. Walker Peters whips it in. Broye! Come on! Armando Broye strikes. Walker Peters gets the assist and we score early. Referee, send the dirty prick off! Send him off! Send him off! Get him off the pitch! You're a wanker, mate! Trying to injure me bloody players. Cookies, fuck off. Pastos with the corner. Howard, it's in! It's 2-0. And the Saints are cruising. And it's halftime. We're up to... We've absolutely been dominant. This is before the red card as well. We were very dominant before the red card. It wasn't the red card that gave us that dominance. It's been a great half of football. Let's bloody see it out. Bazunu, are you taking the piss, mud? What the fuck was that keeping? You just let it hit the post, mud. Walker Peters... Brilliant run from Walker Peters, wide to a dozy, a dozy, beautiful touch into Shane Charles. Walker. He's missed a sitter. He's actually missed a sitter. Walker Peters, what are you doing? And that's full time. A dominant display gets us all three points and a clean sheet. That's a great performance. I love that. Very nice. So, Flynn Downs is going to leave. We don't have much choice. He has refused a new contract. He doesn't want to sign a new contract. I can't even talk to him about it. He has decided to leave, and well, his, his value is just going to go down the further I play along with it. And we've got a 30 million deal to sell him to at Sheffield United. Yeah, I mean, I don't particularly want to sell him, but I don't have a choice. I mean, I'm not keeping a player that's going to be able to leave for free in the first six months of next season. Like, I'm not going to do that. So he's off to Sheffield United uh, for next season. And also... I will update you. Harwood Bellas is in the same area, but I really, really, really want to keep Harwood Bellas. But again, he wants to leave as well. I can't give him a contract. He's exploring his options. I don't know whether that will change, but I'm going to sell him for probably like 40 mil, 45 mil. But we're looking at replacements at the moment. But I, I don't like selling, being forced to sell players. I like replacing players, if you know what I mean. Like selling because I'm like, yeah, I know a backup. I know a replacement. Ah, it's put me in an awkward spot. All right, for our final game of the season, we travel away to Tottenham. Tottenham are fighting for Europe. While we could potentially, if results go our way, if we win and results go our way, we could potentially finish in 10th, which would actually be a really good finish. But we could also finish in 14th. So that's the team. Let's buddy get into it and potentially pull off a great result away at Tottenham to end the season. Diego Simeone is the Tottenham manager. Okay. Nice ball. Alcaraz in space. Alcaraz. Breuer! Breuer! In. And we take the lead Breuer next season. I mean, if he's going to start to score, I'm going to look forward to next season with him. Madison with the... Why are we so bad? Why? Why? Conceded after our goal instantly again. Why is no one marking that player? There's multiple times this season where that's happened. Why does no one mark that guy? Why is there no one here? It's just stupid. Chance, Gallagher. Oliver Skip. Richarlison wide. A poor half from us, really. We're being dominated. And do you know what? We're going for the win because a draw isn't going to get us up the leaderboard at all. So might as well go for it. Try and get a win and finish 10th. Bastos, lovely. Bastos, can you cross it into Breuer? Oh, you've gone for goal yourself. 
No. Why do they never cross the ball, man? Oh, my God. We just can't get close to them. What is going on? Chance it's in. He's offside, apparently, maybe. He's offside. Get in. I mean, we've gone for it. We've tried. Tottenham had one shot in the second half. We dominated the second half. Just couldn't get a goal. Unfortunate to draw on the final day. That means we finished 13th, I think. And so these are the final standings. We ended up finishing 12th, which is a pretty good end to the season. We did have a strong uh, end there. Luton, Fulham, and Brentford getting relegated. Liverpool comfortably winning the league, only losing two games. And one of those games was against us, baby. Come on, we're class. 3-0. Taught them a lesson. Man City, Newcastle, West Ham finish in the top four. Okay. Arsenal, Everton. Chelsea, seventh. Tottenham, eighth. United, ninth. Uh, interesting table. Siku Mara finished in third of the top scorer. That's actually pretty impressive, considering he did miss maybe 10 games of the Prem. Oh, no, he played 33, played eight off the bench, scored 15. That's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, Mara. Bloody happy with that. And Bustos won goal of the season because of that screamer against Manchester City where we won. That was unreal. My biggest win against Liverpool away. Match to remember the Brighton win. Okay. Goal of the season, obviously, the, the win against Manchester City. Fans part of the season was Bella Kotchap. Young player of the season, Bella Kotchap. Signing of the season, Breuer. Most mad of the match is Bazunu. That about sums it up, doesn't it? How did we lose 143k social media followers? What are you talking about? That's bullshit. What? Bro, what the fuck? I've just said um, we will be in a relegation bet next year because it literally, our club vision is avoid relegation. I can't believe you're already accepting mediocrity this soon into your new job. It's hardly the most inspirational leadership I've seen. Bella Kotchap, I've been, this is my fourth, I'm going into my fourth season, you fucking melt. I've been here longer than you have, dickhead. Like, what are you talking about? New to the job. Whatever, I'll back down, like, that's not, that's not my fault. The club said we're avoiding relegation, so I thought you guys would be in the same mind. I guess we want to win the league then. Oh, bloody sick, mate. And Howard Bellas, unfortunately, could not get him on a new contract, as I said earlier. And he is going for 41 million. We only signed him for 5 million last season, and he's selling for 41 to AC Milan. I mean, 41 mil for Howard Bellas is excellent. I mean, I'm more than happy for that. <sighs> See you later, Howard. You could have stayed, but it's unfortunate. And we have made a fucking excellent signing. An excellent signing. I'm so happy about this. Polinia is going to join us. The four-star midfielder, good Premier League player, very consistent professional individual, is joining us for, for 21 mil with a potential to rise to 28. I mean, he's basically bought for cheaper than we sold Flynn Downs. He is 30, which is, you know, he's a bit older, but... He's a bloody good player, and he's pretty cheap, so I'm very happy with this signing. And hopefully him and Shay Charles will be the two defensive mids to really dominate the Prem. And now, before we end this episode, I did say earlier on this season, I would show you the Youth Academy that I have been crafting. And we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven youngsters coming through. Most of them I'm signing for like a 500k now with like a one mil if they play 50 games and stuff like that. Some of them are very expensive, like ones that I'm like certain will become quality, quality players. But a lot of them are sort of cheap, maybe a total of one mil, 1.5 mil uh, with good potential. So... As you can see, we have a lot of star players here, really. This guy was a big one from Norwich. We signed him for 9 mil with, like, you know, an extra 5 or 6, depending on how well he does. Very good stats. Got good speed. Good determination. He's got he's got good professionalism, which means he should grow decently well. He's obviously got good dribbling, good first touch, and stuff like that. So, he's a good player. Obviously, he's a striker. He'll be going out on loan this season. Our boy, Maley, is actually born and bred in the, in the academy. And he is very, very, very good. He'll be going on loan this season for the first time. He's got high potential. He's been growing like fucking crazy. And then, obviously, we've got, like, Amaomeu Doyle. We've got McKenna, who we signed uh, a couple of seasons ago. We've got a few of our own players, Obi... Of Wabo, Wabi, whatever. Bloody good players. We just have a bunch of good youngsters. And as you can see, it is full, right? We have two four-star maxes. Well, four-star with one white. Then we have about three and a half stars, about seven of them. And then we have about ten free stars. And at the end of the day, I'm just going to be loaning them out, loaning them out, loaning them out. I didn't buy them for much. I bought them for like a mil, 1.5. If I loan them out a season or two, they don't develop as much as I want. They don't really have a spot in the team or a chance to get into the team. I'll easily be able to sell them 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mil. We did sign Mbappe as well, but not the one you're thinking. Ethan Mbappe, because he had good potential as well. But most of these guys will be going out on loan. Um, we also have, obviously, a couple of the under-18s as well. 
These guys are more from our academy. Um, all the guys we signed going to the under-21s, these guys are our academy players. And obviously, we've got two big ones here. We've got Gavalis, uh, the Greek man, and Christian, who should be pretty good, but obviously, he's only been here a couple of months. But that's it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. This is the academy. We st as I said, we still got seven more coming in. Now that I've built the academy... I'm going to sign very rare players. So I'm not going to go and sign Tennessee's or something like that. I just wanted to build the academy first to sort of get a good flow of players in there. And then now I'm going to pick apart, you know, only buy players that are either really cheap and they look decent or are like born superstars. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you boys in the next episode where we will start the next season. Hopefully, maybe do better <laughs> is the plan.